This is Jane from SC4, and I'm going to show you how to find a movie review, either using the OneSearch search box or going directly to a newspaper database. So I'm going to go to the Film Library Research Guide. You don't have to work off that. You can work off the library homepage, but I think it's easiest to work off the film guide. So we can just Google SC4 Library Film to the guide. There we are. Uh, the home page has the databases and the one search box, which is just like the one on the library home page. Then down below are some databases that you might want to use, some newspapers, and some magazines and journals. And note that many of these have movie reviews in them. Most are indexed in the one search box, but some are indexed better than others. So it's, I would recommend searching multiple spots here. So let's look for a movie review of the movie Marriage Story. So I'm gonna put it in quotation marks so that it searches it as a phrase. Search. Then I was lucky because I did find some movie reviews right off the top, but sometimes we're not so lucky. So there's a way that you can narrow down to just to movie reviews. So I'm going to scroll down to subject terms here. I don't see movie reviews, although there is motion pictures, which we could click on. But if I click more and scroll down, it opens a third column. And let's look for, there's movie reviews, 72 of them. Then I have to click apply. Then it narrows down to my articles that have been designated as a movie review. I'm going to scroll down. Uh, let's pick this one. It's from the Washington Post, November 13th, 2019. I can click on the title. Off campus, you'll be prompted to log in. I've already logged in, but you log in with your portal, username and password. And here is the full text of my article in an HTML format. Sometimes it might also be available in a PDF format. Um, and I can email the article to yourself, uh, download it to download it to save you know, to your laptop or whatever, so you don't have to print it off. To cite, we're in the Gale database. So we just click on cite up here. Gale databases always give you the MLA edition first. So make sure you're an MLA for this class. It looks correct. Click three times on it, then you can copy it and paste it into your Works Cited. And if I wanted to go back to my result list from one search, I could click here and it goes right back to my list. I'm going to go back to my databases, the film research guide. Sometimes the New York Times is not indexed well in one search. So you could also scroll down here, go to the current New York Times if it's a current movie. I'm going to open it as a new tab. Here again, so I went right to the New York Times current to today's New York Times newspaper. Type in again, marriage story. Search. And I found 105 results. It's sorting them by relevance. If I wanted newest first, I could sort that way. Uh, New York Times is a ProQuest database, so the interface looks a little bit different than the Gale. Often, like, especially if you're having trouble finding, narrowing it down to a movie review, you can also narrow it by like the last 12 months. For example, if you were looking for movie reviews of Parasite, the movie. Um, here we could also narrow by subject to movie reviews and so on. Um, it works in a similar man manner, so if I wanted to See one, just click on the title. The full text appears. This one's very short, but it appears in HTML format. If you wanted to listen to the article, you could click here and it would read it off to you. If you wanted to save it as a PDF, 
cite, how to cite the information. ProQuest always brings up the citation in APA format. So be sure to change it to MLA 8th edition. There's my citation. Triple click on it, copy it and paste it. Thank you.